So, 19 books for 140 pesos. So, ayun na nga, sa mga nagaantay kung saan ko siya nabili. channel and this time we'll be doing a book haul from the books that I bought from Baguio yung 50 pesos per kilo na, um, na books so papakita ko lang siya um, so, um, I actually cut, categorized them into four categories so this books uh, falls under the general category so wala akong maisip ng category dito but these are um, fiction books this book falls under the um, old category. So, ito yung mga early 19, 1960s na na-publish na books. And then, this one is from, will fall under the business category. And lastly, this three books will fall under the famous category. Okay? So, explain ko. Ipapakita ko sila isa-isa para maintindihan nyo kung bakit. The first book is, oh by the way, kung gusto yung malaman kung saan ko binili itong mga librong to, just keep on watching. Okay? So this book, first book under the business category, I bought the quarterly essay. So quarterly essay presents significant contributions. So I ako doon, so I felt really intrigued about this, kaya binili ko siya. I think this would help me um to discover new words and and stuff the next one is itong good to great the social social uh, and the social sectors a monograph to accompany good to great um dito naman intriga ko because of this part of the book which says ito good to great and the social sectors why business thinking is not the answer so may intriga talaga ako doon sa first part or parang chapter 1 ng book kaya ako din siya tin, um, binili next is the old books i am super fan of old books i love buying old stuff kasi i feel i am such an old soul mahilig talaga ako sa anything old um, may mga old cameras ako dito na yung mga film cameras, pumibili ako sa surplus, karamihan ng mga gamit ko um, galing pa sa lola ko mga ganyan. So, I really love old stuff and I think I we can learn a lot from them. Words are different way back to ngayon. Kaya bumili ako. So, first of under this category is um, Risk by Dick Francis. So, this is a mystery novel and it was first published, this book was first published on 1977. Ayan, 1977. But, um, ayun, this edition was published on 1979. So, yeah, 
mas matanda pa ako dito sa buko na to. Which is cool kasi I'm able to, yun nga, makaka-explore ma, maka, ako sa mundo ng mas mga matatandang tao. So, ayan, the next one is Danny Orlis and Jim Morgan's Scholarship. This one was published in the year 1968. So, copyright at 1968 by the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago. So, walang specific dito kung itong book na to na publish on that same year, pero yung yung, kumbaga yung idea was conceptualized and what it was patented nung na copyright siya nung 1968 which is also old. Next one is this um, The Loud Halo by Lillian Beckwith. This one was first published on 1964 but Aro edition itong Aro edition is 1968 kasi ito ay under the Aro edition so 1968 naman tong book na to and lastly under the old category is this Mrs. Pepperpot stories ayan um, ito exciting for me this is a story of um, a woman that turns into a pepper 4 inch na size, ito. Mrs. Pepperpot can choose when she will shrink to 4 inches high. It just happens. But whatever she encounters, whether it is a monstrous mouse trap, a crafty fox, or a gigantic mountain of ice cream, little Mrs. Pepperpot will always come out on top. So this is a good children's book. So, um, it's a compilation of three books. Itong book na to, um, it's a compilation of, it contains um, three books. Yung Little Old Mrs. Pepperpot, Mrs. Pepperpot again, and Mrs. Pepperpot's Outing. So, itong book naman na to was first published noong 1959. Ayan Little old, ayan yung mga yan. Ayan yung mga dates ng publication niya. So, it's really old. The story is really old. And I think when you share this with the children, marami silang matututunan. Kasi yung values ng old times, I think makukuha nila dito. Yan. That is for the old category. And now, this is for the general staff. Um, ito, akala ko old category din to. Pero I think... Ano lang to eh, um, lumabas lang siya noong 1983 lang kasi to. Yung mga 1980s pataas, hindi ko na siya sinama sa old category. Okay, so, so let's start in with The Race for Forever. Uh, the Race Forever, um, I bought this kasi kakaiba yung book na to. You are able to have different endings depending on your decision. Pag, peka ta to, my nakailagay na the end sa page 36 meron din siyang end sa page 50 so depending on your decision kung ano yung magiging ending ng story so cute it's a, I think it would be a good read lalo na sa mga bata din and I want to parang tatry ko lahat ng decision kung saan ako mag arrive so ayan cute I also have this William, um, book by William Shakespeare Richard II Why not, de ba? Binili ko to actually. This is only for three pesos. Kaya binili ko na siya. This one also falls um actually falls under the general category. It's a fiction book by um Alice Adams. Ito yung Strokes of Luck. So ano lang yan? mga general stories lang about life and that. Binili ko din to kasi three pesos lang siya. Another one is this um, Talking in Whispers. It's I this is um, a mystery book which I also love mystery books. I also love mystery books. It's really exciting. It makes you think and all that. So binili ko siya. This one is also for 3 pesos nung kinilo ko. And then we also have another mystery book, The An Inch of Fortune. Um nagustuhan ko so ko to, isang tip sa mga Um, bumibili ng books kung wala kayong time tapos gusto nyo ng maraming makuhang books lalo pag nagpunta kayo sa pinuntahan ko look at the yung mga commentaries 
Nagustuhan ko yung once admiration has never been has never wavered for his talents as an an as an entertainer. So mas binasa ko yung mga commentaries kesa yung mahabang synopsis. And then I also bought this true confe con sorry true confessions of Adrian Albert Mole. Binas binili ko din siya because of this commentary. Wonderful, funny, and sharp as knives. Ayan, oh. Yan, binili ko siya dahil sa commentary na yan. Next one is this um, book by Michelle Spring, Running for Shelter. Um, binili ko din siya because of commentaries. Kasi I didn't have time to actually um, basahin yung synopsis nilang lahat. Kasi... Ang daming pagpipilian na libro. As in, ang daming pagpipilian. It's like a mountain of books. Kaya, ang, ang naging um, criteria ko for buying was, una, yung magaan para marami akong mabili. Sunod yung commentaries nga. And then, with a lot of luck, you can also find yung mga famous books or yung mga magagandang book din na na-commercialize. So, yon Next one, I have this. Slate of Heart by Cara Galloway from Mills and Bones. Ito, isa rin to sa mga favorite ko. Sinadya ko talaga itong bilhin. Um, this is for 7 pesos itong kinilo ko. Usually, this kinds of books, you can buy sa book sale. Pag hindi siya sale, for 48 pesos. Pero pag sale siya, it can go as low as 10 pesos. Ito talaga yung mga binibili ko nung college pa ko. Ito talaga yung mga binabasa ko. Mga Mills and Boons, Harlequins. Harlequin na yung mga romance novels ng Harlequin. Kasi mura lang siya sa recto. Uh, makakabili ka doon ng 3 pieces for 20 pesos or 10 pesos each. Merong part sa recto na talagang makakabili ka ng maraming ganto. Ang cute lang nito kasi pag mga ano lang, pag, dati kasi pag nasistress na ako sa exams or sa mga projects sa school, Ito yung reward ko. After kung na exam or basta may time ako, I make sure that I'm able to read one book dati per week na ganito. Para lang mas maging wide yung vocabulary ko. And alam mo yun, nakakakilig din naman siya. So yun. Next one is this. The Plain Girl by Arthur Miller. So, ito rin ulit ang panagbabasa ko. Yung mga commentaries ng ito, The Times. Sabi ng The Times, no one could take full measure of this tiny novel without knowing what superb, superb writer created it. Such is Miller's passion and ingenuity. We find ourselves quite startled in the traps he sets for us. The balance is almost miraculously held. O, oh, ba? Sino mang hindi may excite or nabasahin to? Tsaka nakalagay pa dito by Sunday Times na a tiny jewel of a book. Diba? So, na-excite din akong basahin to. I'll try to make reviews. Our last one under the general category is this. Everything to Gain by Barbara Taylor Bradford. So, binili ko din to because of the commentary. Ayan. Sinabi niya dito, Heart-rending stuff. Everything to gain is truly uplifting by today. So, cute then. Gusto ko din yung mga gantong books eh. And now, we are down to the last three books. Ayan. Ang ating mga famous books. Famous siya. Um, kasi, these were all turned into movies. So, let's first stop with... The Private Lives of People Lee. So, al alam ko, lately lang siya naging movie. And ang sabi dito, by the Daily Mail, Miller's astute, beautifully nuanced novel explores the unpredictable consequences of choosing to live a safe but emo emotionally compromised life. So, very ano din siya, intriguing yung kwento niya. I wasn't able to watch the movie yet, but... Once I read the book, I'll definitely try to look for the movie. Next one is this, The Nanny Diaries. ba Ang cute-cute nito. Um, I believe this was starred by Scarlett Johansson. And, 
ang cute. I'm going to watch the movie already. But, um, titignan ko, I'll compare it kung ano yung mas maganda, yung book ba, or yung movie. So, yan. And, we are down to our last one, which is the Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason by Helen Fielding. Um, eto is also a movie, one of my favorite movies, actually. Um, Bridget Jones Diaries, kung alam niyo yung series na yon. Ito yung second niya. Ito yung susunod niya. Um, Ang cute nito. And I'm really excited to buy it. I, I have to read it actually. So, ayon, those are the books. Let me just count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19! Oh, 19 pala. So, 19 books for 140 pesos. So, ay na nga, sa mga nagaantay kung saan ko siya nabili, I bought it sa Bookends Baguio. Ayan. Ang tip dito, when you go to bookends, you have to make sure na yung bibilhin nyo is may markings na ganyan. Like, all of the books that I bought. Yan. Dapat may tatak na bookends. Bookends thrift shop, sabi nito. Bookends thrift thrift ah, sorry. <laughs> Nabulol ako. Bookends thrift 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 shop. <laughs> trip shop. Ayan. So, lahat to merong markings. Ayan. Kung wala dito sa side, nasa loob. Okay, kasi um, baka magkamali kayo, baka kaka naihalo kasi yung ibang books sa, sa shelves dun sa pile na malaki. So, baka bigla nyo ano, tapos magulat kayo na, ay, bakit hindi 50? So, yun yung explanation. Kailangan lang meron siyang markings. Merong book ends. Para mag-fall siya under the Yan o, oh, under the sales. Yan, yan o, oh, mga bookends na marking. So, lahat-lahat to, merong markings ng bookends. By the way, ito yung mga regular books lang. Yung mga children's books will be, um, yung price nun is 99 per kilo. Tapos, yung mga regular books, depende. Meron mga Harry Potter, Hunger Games, Fifty Shades, Pride and the Prejudice. Yung mga classic na sikat, um, iba't iba. So, Ano lang din, tiyagaan, kung, kung nandun kayo, tiyagain nyo lang lang din. Kung hindi din naman kayo bibili ng book, okay na okay din siya. I'd recommend you to go there kasi ang ganda nung aesthetics. Ang daming artworks, ang daming kung anong, kung anong, anong mga antique stuff. Na pwede kayong magpapicture, pwede rin kayong tumambay doon, may part na tambayan doon, doon sa bandang likod. Where you can actually, try nyo munang basahin yung gusto nyong book na bilhen. Tapos, sa kanya siya, sa kanya siya bilhin. Kasi, you all will be able to, at least, makaupo kayo doon. Tapos, mabasa niyo yung mga synopsis ng mga books. So, ayon That is it for my haul. Ayan. So, I'm really lucky, actually. I'm really lucky kasi, uh, I was able to find this place. Thank you so much for my adding. Thank you so much, Jevy. Kasi siya yung nagpaalala nung naglalakad na kasi kami papuntang SM from from Burnham. Nung naglalakad kami doon along Harrison, tapos papunta na kami ng Session Road. Sabi niya, ate dito yung alam yung Facebook post about 50 pesos per kilo dito sa Baguio. Malapit na tayo doon. So, kahit masakit yun dyan ko noon, pagpasok ko doon sa book and sa store, sobrang parang nawala yung sa, para siyang naging... Ano, very therapeutic kasi talaga yung pagbabasa. You're able to go to worlds that you've never been before and create stuff and discover stuff and yun. So, I'd recommend you to read a lot of books. Basta may time kayo. And kung mga malapit kayo sa Baguio or pupunta kayo ng Baguio, make sure to visit Bookends. So, bye! So, this is Bookends. I'd recommend you to go there. Basta nasa Baguio kayo, you, could, you should stop by at bookends kasi sobrang sulit 
nung time and money nyo dito. Um, you can find a lot of books and it's so great to be here. Um, it was such a wonderful experience. So I'd recommend you, I highly recommend you to come. If you do like this video, of course, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also comment down below if you like the video and if you want me to do more of book stuff. And that's it. Thank you again and enjoy watching. Bye.